Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Exilia. I'm Katayahiko and in the last episode we picked up Elise and her stuffed animal, Tipo. So what's keeping this Tipo thing floating in the air like that? Who knows? Sheer talent, I guess. <laughs> Cute. And uh, I took two quests and I will give this guy the soda rice so we can learn how to make it. Oh, this, this is soda rice. Oh, I see. They use a miso as the secret ingredient to balance the soda and rice flavors. Thanks, now I'll be able to grow and improve as a chef. You're welcome. I acquired bushy eyebrows. I don't know if I really want to put that on a character. Anyways, now we're gonna go and save the person who went to the water shrine. Can I teleport in there? Of uh, not Fenmont, Sea Haven dungeons, other. Uh, you know what? Never mind. I'll just walk there. I don't know. I don't know things. Spiderwebs. Why are there so many spiderwebs in these? Next enemy. Okay, so let me see. It's the Aldi Trail. And the Sea Haven and the entrance. So, okay. I can't teleport. So is this chest always here? Did I walk right past this chest? Or did it refill? If I walked right past it, I'm a dumbass. But if it refilled, that's kind of cool. Hello, wolf. Goodbye, wolf. I'm gonna drink some water real quick. My throat was getting a little bit sore from talking for so long. And no water, so now we're good. Playing video games with one hand. I am so talented. It was down here, right? I don't remember. It was so long ago. But not really. But, you know, whatever. Ignore all the enemies. Go grinding later. There they are. There's the girl just lying on the fucking floor. How did that woman know that she came here and then got defeated here? Like, how did she- how did she know that? Alright, come here, axe beaks. I'm gonna wait for Camila real quick, just because we have more link arts and they're cool to fun to use. Should have gone a little easier. I like cool, fun link darts. Thanks. A little longer, and I would have been dinner. You guys look like you know how to fight. Just don't let your guard down like I did. Well, maybe you should stop being a dumbass. Okay. Now I can teleport to the hub. Nope. Sea Haven. Sea Haven. Not the Hamil. I don't want to go to the back to Hamil. Okay. Hello, miss. I saved the mercenary and killed the monsters. You rescued her, thank you. You're welcome. A sheathed dagger? Huh. Well, I don't use daggers. Uh, what is this sheathed dagger? I don't know what any of this stuff that I'm getting is. Huh. Um, pudding cake. Mmm. Uh huh. And is she dagger elf ears? I only see these two. What is it? Is maybe it's um here? Okay, I gotcha. Elf ears. <laughs> She's dagger. Uh, hmm. What is this? Oh, it's, it's also okay. Oh, yours looks really silly. But I think a sheath dagger is pretty pointless on Alvin, even if it does look neat. Let's see. Elfie's on Alvin. <laughs> that doesn't actually look too bad on Alvin, actually. Um. I'm not gonna put the bushy eyebrows on anybody. Elf ears on Mila. That looks kind of weird. Sheath daggers on the leg there? Yep, okay. I'm gonna think I'm gonna put the elf ears on Elvin, because I don't think it actually looks too bad on Elvin. Alrighty. Hello. 
The blockade is a direct order from the King of Rashgal himself, and it came with no justification whatsoever. This is the sort of heavy-handed leadership we've come to expect from the King. De Despotism at its finest. Oh man, you guys keep using big words. It's making me not speak good. Excuse me, when is the next ship leaving for Fenmont? I'm afraid the Rashigal government has blockaded the capital and its surrounding regions. That means all scheduled voyages to Fenmont have been cancelled. We apologize for the inconvenience. Are any ships sailing? Sorry, ma'am. Ah, uh, but the route to Sapstrath Seahaven is still open. Would you like a ticket to Sapstrath Seahaven? Very well. Please board the ship and await departure. That one guy said you could get there from Sepstrat, right? So, yep. Sounds good to me. That's not something you see every day. You get your mail by carrier pigeon? Something like that. It's how I keep in touch with someone special from afar. I told her a beautiful woman has appeared in my life. Hey, I didn't know you were married. <laughs> Do I look like the marrying type to you, Mr. Honor Student? Huh? You mean you're not? Who knows? Oh, looks like we're about to depart. Yeah. You know, I think I might have to take those elf ears off of Alvin. Seeing them in cutscenes looks weird. Wow! I've never seen the sea before! Impressive, huh? Just what was that girl doing in the village? Wasn't she being held captive? Maybe it was the other way around. Maybe she was being protected. <laughs> Elise? <laughs> Tipo, look! Well, hey! Check out that water! You'd die if you fell in! She's not a bad girl. It doesn't seem that way. I wonder if we'll find someone who'll take her in. That's your responsibility. You'll have to find someone on your own. Right. I've still got the key, but how much time does it buy me? Mila? You see something? No, I was just thinking. Elise, what are you going to do now? I... I don't know. Hmm. Huh. What exactly do you know? We know Jude and Mila and Alvin are our pals! That's not the sort of thing I meant. What is Tipo, for instance? How can a doll talk? What do you mean, what's Tipo? You're looking at him! I'm Tipo! I'm Ellie's pal! Having a conversation with you is quite difficult. We don't seem to be on the same page. Hey, we better get our stuff. You're right. Looks like we're almost there. I wonder how tight Rashigal security is right now. <laughs> Looks like everyone's getting along, at least. Don't worry. Everything will work out. Looks like security is not so tight after all. Soldiers are still patrolling, though. We'll have to be careful. Strange. What changed? They were deploying soldiers across the border to find us before. Maybe they found something more important to do than chase after us. I'm not complaining. Let's avoid the soldiers and head to Fenmont.
Hang in there, Elise. It'll just be a little while longer till we reach the city. Then I'm sure we'll find the perfect person to take you in. What? But I... Take us in? What the hey are you talking about? That could have gone better. He just told the little lady he's unloading her on a perfect stranger. That's news to her. No wonder she looks surprised. And he thinks I'm inconsiderate. He's just a kid. Hmm? Nothing. Everything's on sale. Whoops. Da -na 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 -na. Yeah, okay. I guess that'll be fine. I want to see if I could put the dragon on her. I thought that would be adorable. Okay. This Sea Haven looks exactly the same as the other Sea Haven. The softest beds in town. Trust me, the beds are way softer at the inn here than anywhere else. You focus on the strangest things. All right, I'm checking in. Can we really afford to relax like this? <sighs> oh, Alvin. Oh, got another one. The suspicious sailor. Be careful, Elise. A sailor in the Sea Haven has been staring at you. Oh, I didn't notice anything. We might just be overthinking things, but he might know something. Maybe we should chat him up. Well, I was kind of going to go talk to everybody anyway, so... Rashgal is a country rich in nature, and the Sapstrath region may well be in its lushest and wildest section. The Shap... Sap, fuck it, deep wood in particular is almost untouched by human civilization. Okay. Can't talk to any of you guys. Hello. Welcome. Nowhere. I'm not going anywhere today. What is this? A sale? Why is that child working? Excuse me, old woman. Miss. This place has a nice weather and great food. I always look forward to stopping here. Well, Instead of interested in buying some of this whatever region's legendary fish, fruits, and vegetables, you can't put a price on good health. Nope. Apparently not, because I can't actually buy from you. What happens if I run into this troop? Nothing. Okay. Because I decided to avoid the guards, and I just ran right into them, so I don't know what you're talking about. Hello. It's my job to haul the ship's cargo to the shall charlatan. Speed is the name of the game, but all the military checkpoints popping up lately has been slowing things way down. Yeah, sorry about that, that's partially my fault. Whoops. That old storyteller has been telling travelers the exact same story for decades, yet if I try to start a conversation he won't say a word to me. What a loon. Which storyteller? Are you a storyteller? Greetings friends, people call me the amazing bounty hunter. How would you folks like to help me with a little job? If you help me, I'll tell you why people call me the Amazing Bounty Hunter. Your mission is to eliminate the monsters attacking travelers on the high road. My sources indicate they have a nest in the Sapstrath Deepwood. Now go get them. Don't worry, if things turn hairy, my amazing self will be right there to help you. Yeah, I believe that. You're so amazing, you have to ask for help. Hello. She's not a person, just run away and see... And the sea routes are unreliable at the moment. She might try to hide out this inn for a while. Who? Damn, that one word she went off to. I don't know. Apparently, Fenmont closed their sea haven because of enemy espionage. Sure sounds like there's a war between Rashigal and Ajul. Yeah, I wouldn't really know. Hello. The military sent over an emergency shipment of wanted posters. I don't even know why they bought it. The illustrations are terrible. They could be anyone. <laughs> I guess that's supposed to be Jude and Mila, but that is quite terrible. Good. Good. Wow. Okay. With the Fenmont Sea Haven sealed by the military, the Sepstrath Sea Haven has become all the more indispensable. <laughs> We're gonna make a killing. Good for you.
Hey, buddy. I know our little lady's cute and all, but could you stop leering at her? Oh, sorry. I just couldn't help but notice that stuffed doll she's got. You want a piece of Tipo, pal? Aha! I knew it! This one talks, too! You mean you've seen a talking doll like this before? Oh, yeah. They look just like that one. That might be Tipo's family! Where did you see it? A traveling merchant was selling them here a little while ago. He said he was heading west. That must be Sherilton. So there might be other Tipos besides Tipo? That is a possibility. I want to meet my family! Wow. These new toys are so impressive. Now I wish I'd bought one for my daughter. <laughs> I guess that's a sub-event about Tipo and stuff. Cool. I guess it must be the sailor they were talking about talking to. Because they were staring. Another person over here needs some help. I have a request that I need kept secret. Can I trust you? Sure. I want you to find me a poison stinger. Please don't ask what it's for. Do I have one? Do I have one? No. Okay. I'll find one later then. Um, in the next episode, but actually I'm going to end this recording session because I am tired of sitting in this position. So, that will be the end of this episode. Oh man, I was hoping I'd get to the save point. I knew that was going to happen. You there, do you want to hear my story? Sorry, we're kind of in a hurry. Some other time, alright? Come on now, don't be like that. Linger a moment and bring an old man some joy. Jude, don't. Don't, Jude. What kind of story? Damn it, Jude. I don't want to go there, Jude. Give this guy an inch and he'll take a mile. Don't worry, young man. I promise the story will be worth your time. Why? It might even save your life. Mila, don't. Damn it. Sounds interesting. Tell us your story. That's more like it. Now hear my tale of monsters. Many years ago, a young man named Triel lived among the northern tribe. Triel had a talent for controlling monsters, an unusual gift that gave him the ability to draw out a monster's hidden powers. But Triel's genius was not easily sated, and he began to dabble in forbidden arts. By tampering with monsters' mana lobes, he sought to create a monster that would grow stronger with every battle. Tampering with mana lobes, but that's not... possible? No. But Triel did all the same. After over 20 years of research, he successfully created six new monsters. These creatures, with their hyper-enlarged mana lobes, could cast new spirit arts out of pure instinct. Each of the six monsters had a weapon growing out of its body, as if each was a living incarnation of the weapon itself. These weapons were dubbed, dubbed Devil's Arms, and the monsters themselves, Devil's Beasts. In all my years as a mercenary, I've never heard of a story like that. Yeah, I don't blame you, Alvin. That seems like a really weird story to hear. <laughs> of course you haven't, young man. Twenty years ago, Triel took his six devils, devils, beasts, and led them into a great war. But a huge tsunami hit the battlefield and washed everything away, including Triel. Triel? Triel. And thus, the secret knowledge needed to create these monsters was lost. That's it. Thanks for wasting our time, old fella. Ah, but the story's not over yet. You see, the devil's beasts didn't die that day. Triel's death released them, and to this day, they still roam free somewhere in the world. Sounds like a bunch of optional bosses I can get for awesome weapons. And you said these devil's beasts get stronger with each every fight? I did. And now they've been fighting for over 20 years. I can't imagine how strong they must be, must have become. So listen well. If you see a monster with a weapon growing out of its body, do not attempt to fight it. That, my friends, is the moral of my little story, and the secret to a long life. Good. I'm glad you interrupted me saving so you can tell me the story. Now let me save. Good. Alright, so that'll be the end of this episode. The next episode, I guess we'll continue doing stuff. I don't really know. We're gonna try and sneak into Fenmont. Do that quest that I picked up, maybe. Uh, stuff. So thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.